well, how do the jumps? As you can see, I'm playing No Man's Sky. And this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. And uh, I've got like a, a little bit of news and then quite a hefty whack of speculation. So let's jump on over into game. Firstly, the bit of news. So the bit of news is we've got ourselves a new emote. Heck yes, we do. So let's go and pick on up said emote. So create from Quick Sophia. I'm having you, my little friend. It's a holographic starship. An unlockable emote starship. We're going to have a cake to that. I guess we are. Now let's have a little look see at that in action. Now what I would say, people inside the view of us, is these emotes, although you can see that right now, in singular player, inside of multiplayer, if you show this to one of your friends, they just see you with an empty hand. Almost like you're asking for something, which is no real use to anyone. But you can use this emote in another way. Have it open on the screen like this, start walking, and then press the button. And joy of joys! Look at that! You can just move around like a T-posing robot to your heart is content, people. Which is pretty much pretty cool, pretty fun. But at the same time, this is a glitch, isn't it? It's a bug, and hopefully it gets fixed, people in the view of us, because yes, it would be nice just to see these sort of things rounded off and polished off. Now, what am I thinking when it comes to speculation, people inside of the view of us? So, let me make myself a little bit larger on the screen, and let me bring on up the No Man's Sky Assistant app. So here you go, here's my lovely, lovely phone. Yes, brilliant, cool, yeah. Hit that. Yes, it's got the No Man's Sky background. Yes, I know. Hit on up the app. Here's the app. And inside of the app, if I go to Community Mission, just that, Community Mission, hit that. You can see here, we've got all these lovely, lovely emotes. But then if you hit this button here, Next, Page, it comes up with all of these jetpack trails. Now, I know they're jetpack trails, because if I click on these question marks, it shows it's a jetpack trail. But again, it's got question marks there, and it doesn't tell you any sort of write-up about the jetpack trail. Now, the No Man's Sky Assistant app cleverly, through magic and wizardry, pulls information from the game files with inside of No Man's Sky. Right now, there are no icons for any of the jetpack trails, and there's no blurb, no write-up about what the jetpack trails do or what they are or anything like that. So, I honestly think that in between the next couple of emotes popping, because we've, we've got two more to pop, I think by the time we get to maybe the last one, we're probably going to see some sort of a mini-update drop into No Man's Sky, and that should hopefully put in the actual icons and blurb and textage for those lovely jetpack trails. Now, those lovely jetpack trails are super lovely. If you haven't seen them, I've done a video on them, but the structure has managed to unlock them early and has got a real nice showcase video of all of those in action. I'll put a link up there, people, to the structures video. Go hit that one up. Or on the end card of this video, I'll put a link to my own video that showcases them and does like a, a quicker overview than the structures showcase, but his is far better than mine, so go watch that video. Heck yes. Anyway, Anyway, people, so I'm wondering whether the update that brings in the icons for them and the blurb for them maybe might come alongside with perhaps another potential expedition and the ARG arc part three is what I'm thinking, people. I mean, I don't want to oversell this. I don't want to overbake it. I mean, we all know that over on the Twitterverse right now, it has gone as silent as silent can be. You know, it's... It's freaking craziness how quiet it is over on Twitter. I mean, it's, it's the seventh year anniversary of this game. And Sean of the Murrays, maybe he's gone on some sort of vacation because there's not much happening over there, people. It's very, very tumbleweedy. Heck, yes, it is. So, yes, there's not much Twitter news. There's not much happening on Murray Watch. Heck, no, there's not, people. So, yeah, although I'm speculating that something might happen before the end of these emotes popping. Yeah, I'm thinking perhaps around, hmm, let's have a look at the calendar. I'm thinking around August 22nd, people. I, uh, that's that's kind of where I'm putting my finger saying, yeah, around August 22nd is where I think we might start seeing something happen. Maybe even before that, 
August 22nd is by the latest, people, OK? Because I think by August 22nd, all of the emotes should be unlocked by that point. We've only got two more to go. And what's the progress on the on that one? I, I didn't pay much attention. Let's go back on over to the Quicksilver Merchant and let's just see what we're on progress wise. Because that new ship emote that I just got, that one unlocked yesterday. So it's been a, it's been nearly 24 hours since it unlocked. So let's just see the progress of the new one. So I'm looking at that and it's at 19% already within 24 hours. Let me just make that bigger for you guys on the screen. You should be able to see it above my head. Just there, look, look. <laughs> Tier four, nineteen percent within inside of one day. But you got to think the weekend mission is still running for some people in some time zones, and over weekends it does make a little bit more progress. But I'm thinking this one here, this holographic multi-tool, will probably unlock by about the Friday of this week, is what I'm thinking. If we get like ten percent a day. That's going to take us up with this 20%, so what's that? That's going to be about 70% unlocked, but then I think it's going to unlock super quick on the Friday because of the weekend mission and stuff. And then I think this one is probably going to unlock, you know, somewhere between around the 22nd is what I'm thinking. That's kind of where I'm guesstimating these to be unlocked by is about by the 22nd of August. We're on the 14th now, so I think that's in the realms of possibility. Another, what, eight days or so or whatever. So, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, four days for each one. And I, I kind of feel that that's about on, on the right average. I could be out slightly, but that's where I'm penciling it in. But like I say, the next items, these jetpack trails, have no icons, they have no blurb, and there needs to be an update of some kind to update those. And if they are putting in an update, hopefully it's going to be an update that also brings with it an Expedicione. OK, so there you go, people. Let me know what you think of this theory. Is that is that totally crazy or is that in line with what you're thinking yourself, person in the view of us? OK, yes, I know at least one of you watches. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.